Well, hello and welcome to this very different edition to Campaigners. Uh, but I thought, well, given it's Easter time, I thought it was very unfortunate that we're not covering the Easter story in Campaigners. And because of isolation, uh, it basically means Campaigners isn't running. So I thought, right, I'll make up a series of videos and uh, I've also made up some resources, which we're going to be looking at over the next few weeks. Now, so if those of you who don't know me, my name is Kevin and I am uh, one of the leaders at the Lochs Campaigners on the Isle of Lewis. And I'm going to decide to first of all split this Easter message into six uh, lessons. So we're going to do six lessons. Now, my aim is to be as broad as possible. So I'm going to do the, we're going to have a reading and followed by uh, a wee bit of an explanation of the reading and then some tasks for you. Now, if you want to do these tasks, these can be found at locksfreechurch.co.uk. Click on the community tab and then click on campaigners and you can download them there. Right, so first off today, the first of our Easter messages is Zacchaeus and Jesus. So we're going to be reading from uh, the International Children's Bible, the ICB, for that's the one we use in campaigners. And today's reading comes from Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 9. Jesus was going through the city of Jericho. In Jericho, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a wealthy, very important tax collector. He wanted to see G who Jesus was, but he was too short to see above the crowd. He ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to the Lord, I will give half of my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The Son of Man has come to find lost people and save them. Amen. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word. Now, Zacchaeus, he was a short man, and the people were gathered in huge crowds. They wanted to see Jesus. But there was another problem though, Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which would have made him very, very unpopular with the local people. Uh, you see, tax collectors, they were corrupt people. They would collect the taxes. I mean, that's unpopular in our day, but they worked for the Romans. I mean, the, the Romans were despised by the Jews. They were the invaders. And to make matters worse, very often, the tax collectors would overcharge the people so that they could keep some for themselves. So people would not have been nice to Zacchaeus or even want to let him near the front of the crowd. But Zacchaeus was desperate to meet Jesus and he wouldn't let the crowd put him off. He climbed up the tree. He made an effort to see Jesus. He wasn't too proud. I mean, climbing trees might have been considered quite a childish thing to do. But this is the approach we must take if we are coming to Jesus, we are to come as a child. A child knows that they can't do things for themselves. They go to their parents. A hungry child relies on their parents to cook them a meal. And in the same way, we need to come to Jesus in complete dependence upon him. You may be thinking, well, wait a minute, I thought this was a series about Easter. What does this have to do with Easter? Well, for this, we need to look at verse 1. Jesus was going through. 
Jericho. He was only going through. He wasn't stopping there. He wasn't planning to stay. It would have been easy for Zacchaeus to say, well, things don't look that convenient today. No, it's not really good. I'll catch him next time he's in the city. But we must think about where Jesus was going. He was heading to Jerusalem where he knew himself he would be put to death on the cross. Jesus wasn't going to be physically passing through this area again. We must make sure that we don't put off coming to God. None of us are promised tomorrow. We must come to him today whilst we have the opportunity. Zacchaeus didn't waste his chance and neither should we. Zacchaeus climbed up that tree and Jesus came to him. He wanted to see Jesus, but Jesus came over and spoke to him and then went to his house to eat. How excited do you think Zacchaeus was at this time? But this shouldn't surprise us, as God is always greater than we can imagine. We ask him for a plate of food. However, he provides us with a feast. But it doesn't end here. Zacchaeus was a changed man. How do we know this? He changed his ways. He gives half the money to the poor. Money had previously been his God. And he also agrees that if he has cheated anybody, then he would pay them back four times more. He didn't do this to get saved. He did this because he saw all that God had forgiven him and wanted to try his best to live by God's standards. And we need to do this. We will not be perfect until we reach heaven, but we are to try and live lives that are pleasing to God. Do we show God's love to others around us? Not just our friends, but everybody. That can be hard at times, but it is what God calls us to do. So let us remember, whatever obstacles are in our way, never let that come between us and God. The place was busy. Zacchaeus was a small man and not a well-liked man. That didn't stop him. He made that effort and Jesus greatly blessed him for it. Now, there are some tasks for today and there are colouring sheets. However, I'm aware that some of you don't have printers at home. So for those who don't have a printer, you've got two options. You can either redraw the pictures, mm, difficult, but it's not impossible, right? Or maybe get a parent to redraw them if they're particularly artistic. However, what I would rather is, if you open up something, a uh, drawing package on the computer, so let's just say paint, because it's on just every computer, every Windows computer, should I say. So open up paint, and then copy and paste your picture, the picture in. And then use something like the paintbrush or whatever things to add colors. Then, if you save them, then you can email them to me. If you color them in, then please either you or maybe get your parents to take a picture of the finished work and email. So my email is kmcphail, that's all one word, K-M-A-C, P-H-A-I-L at yahoo.com okay and I will put these on the campaigners page on the church website now as well to keep you to keep you going there's also a word search and a crossword that you can complete so you can uh, find these sheets from the campaigners page on the church website okay now, uh, one last thing as well, just to give credit, the illustrations that I used for these uh, resources were taken from free Sunday school curriculum.weebly.com. Thank you for listening. Whilst it's nowhere near the same as meeting together as a group, yet it's still, we're still called to meet. And hopefully, over this Easter time that you will indeed be blessed 
and that you will feel God's presence.